What's up guys, Andre here with a quick update about Zelda Breath of the Wild getting VR support in Labo VR. Because the official Japanese blog for the game just added a brand new entry specifically about VR. And it confirms that the game itself will play exactly as it did before, only now in VR. Which the blog points out is still a very different perspective. However, it did add one new detail that we didn't know about before. And that's the fact that the VR mode will in fact support head tracking, or more specifically, rotational tracking like in the other Labo VR games. Meaning you should be able to freely look around independent of Link just by moving your head. And that should be pretty darn cool. However, the blog also mentions that you can disable the gyro feature if you want, and simply enjoy the stereoscopic 3D view. So this is a good option if you just don't want to look around, or maybe if you're susceptible to motion sickness. Finally, the blog included a couple of pictures of the VR mode in action. And what's kind of cool about this is it means you can get a sneak peek yourself. Because if you load this very video in the YouTube app on Nintendo Switch while using your Labo VR goggles, you can actually experience a full 3D VR effect yourself, exactly as it would appear in-game in VR mode. Pretty cool, huh? And that's exactly why I skipped adding the Game Explained intro at the beginning of this video, that way it didn't look super weird if you were in fact watching via the VR goggles. Aren't I considerate? Now if you don't have Labo VR, any other VR headset should work that's compatible with the YouTube app. Again, just load up this video and check it out for yourself. But what if you don't have any VR headsets at all? Well, you're not totally out of luck. Because if you cross your eyes to make both sides of the image into one, you can actually see the 3D effect yourself. Now granted, it's on the screen instead of a true VR environment, but it'll still give you an idea as to what to expect when it comes to the actual depth itself. A bit as if you were looking at it on a 3DS screen, for instance. Now crossing your eyes can be a bit difficult if you're not already used to doing it. So please don't hurt yourself trying. Also, I recommend hitting pause on this video before doing so, that way the image isn't constantly changing on you as you're trying to do it. So it's pretty cool that you can actually get a sneak peek of what this mode's going to be like in one of a few different ways. And with that, thanks for watching, and of course make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for tons more on Labo VR, Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, and everything else Nintendo Switch as well. Oh, and now I'll finally shut up and just let the pictures play out for a little bit. That way you can better experience what Zelda Breath of the Wild might look like in VR, along with the soothing in-game music as opposed to my voice.